Hey everybody, your host AMF1534 here. Let's play some more Resident Evil 2. So, here's the rundown of what was going on last time. And yes, I do have to use this because I do. You'll find out in a minute. We got to the factory, and now we're at this train. A one-car train. And apparently Ada's retarded because she can't come in here. And yeah, I'm having a bad day. Just a really bad day. And that's really all there is to it when it comes down to it. Just everybody's been all up in my shit all day long, and I'm getting kind of tired of it. <sighs> Whatever, though. I'm not going to let it bother me any more than it already did. Huh. Interesting. Anywho. So now that we have ourselves the C panel key, we'll put it to use right over here. Because we need to. Ding, 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 bing. Will you push the activation switch? Bing, 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 bing. Wow. <laughs> Still don't really know why the activation noise for that is an air horn. But that is logic that's better left for Resident Evil and not for me to know. Because it's not important. Whatever. And now the descent has begun. Into hell on our one car train. Bum, bum, bum. Down for the count, and Leon's pissed. Security panel. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on, and access from outside will be prohibited for a limited time. I.e., we're basically walking into a boss fight. For those of you that didn't know. I don't know why you wouldn't know. It's like the best game ever, basically. So you should know. And now the door is locked, and we cannot go back in until the task has been completed. Who will, be, who will we be fighting, you ask? Well... Mr. William Bergen all over again. This really, really weird looking body that has two random bear claw arms attached to his waist, which is really weird. But if I had it, I wouldn't be mad. And now it's time to fight, but at first it's time to run. Shit. No. Shit. You definitely do not want to get hit by him ever. He hurts. He just really, really hurts. And it takes Leon a really long time to get out of that shooting motion. Yeah. Yeah. Time to load up with some more. And now we have no bullets left in that besides what we have. Haha, <laughs> whiff! Field freeze! Oh, he's hurt. You know what that means. God damn it. Oh, man, I was really happy to get all that frustration out from my bad work day. Just to make sure he's dead. <laughs> Fuck you, William. And now that he's done, the lock on this door mysteriously is just now unlocked, and we can walk back in. Let's go see how Aid is doing. And we're here. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on! Wake up! Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I like how she's apparently bleeding from her stomach, even though when William's arm went through the door in the car, it hit her in the head. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not gonna argue with it. But yeah. Welcome... Two Umbrella Laboratories. This place is weird. Really weird. 
Welcome back. Oh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know. I'm not capable of caring about anyone. <laughs> I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Did you say she's not capable of caring for somebody like she's a robot or something? It's kind of weird. Ah, oh, yes, more Magnum bullets. That is a breath of fresh air. I'm sure there's probably something in here, too. Yes. Yes, this is good. This is even better. Yes, give me some green herb action. Should probably use it, though, because I did get hit a few times during that boss battle. Nothing too big. Okay, so let's drop off some things in here, because there's a lot of things we now no longer need. I.e., uh, we don't need the magnum right now, or the bullets, or the machine gun, but we do need the everything else, so. Okay. Let's take this thing back out and Let's go get some work done. And now to be more fully appropriate, I suppose. Now I welcome you to Umbrella Laboratories, the place where all your fucked up fantasies about making biological weapons out of a virus, but it ends up going horribly wrong and making zombies out of it. This is where all those fantasies come true. So I, yeah, it's definitely not the place where I'd bring my kid for Take your child to work day. A huge breaker system that regulates all the power in the lab. The main fuse has been removed and the power is not active in some areas. That's great. Alright, so we got a blue area and a red area. Which area should I go to? Let's leave it to the flip of a coin. If we get blue, which is heads, we'll go that way. If we go tails, it's going to be red, and we'll go that way. So here it comes. It is tails. So. By the power of the coin, let's go red. The thing I like about this place, outside of the fact that it's the last zone in the game, of course, um, I like the fact that all the doors in this area actually fit the area. It's not like, you know, it's not like the police station where there were just random doors that didn't even look like they had any business being there at all, like the big green one. It's weird. It's locked from the inside. But you, this one isn't. Haha. <laughs> but apparently every one of these doors is shaft type M. Apparently there's just a lot of type M shafts around here. What the hell's that noise? And what's up with the weird like Russian and or Greek letters? Hmm. I understand. User registration. Temporary user registration from the culture experiment room. Username guest, password none, valid for one day. It's like a free pass. Alright, what the hell's up with this? A researcher's corpse. It looks like he poured oil all over the place. I wonder. <laughs> oh, don't even give me that shit. How about right here? <laughs> Guess what? Leon 1, plant 0. I win. Okay. I wonder if there's anything in this locker. Awesome! There's a fucking flamethrower in there. That's like the tightest thing I've seen all day. Laboratory security manual. In the instance of an uncontainable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be directed towards the underground transport facility. In the instance that any abnormalities are detected among cargo in transit, all materials will be automatically transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point, all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a Class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. I wonder what a Class 1 emergency is. In the instance that the lab itself becomes contaminated, the northernmost route currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as the emergency escape route. This route 
will secure passage to the relay point outside the city limits. Disclosure about any information regarding research conducted experiments here or the existence of this facility is strictly prohibited. Since it is top priority to keep all research classified, escape access may be denied under certain extenuating circumstances. Yikes. Man, they really do like to keep this place under wraps now, don't they? Well, since we burnt the plant down, let's go in. But first, we need to get this out, because I don't feel like this is going to go all too well. But we're going to find out, nonetheless. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it! You get the fuck away from me right now! <laughs> I win. You guys suck. Alright, so, is there anything in this giant monstrosity? Holy shit! Lots and lots of shotgun shells, that's what I'm talking about. I will take everything that you have to throw at me. And then some. Yeah, dude. Alright. Wait a minute. Is there something over here, maybe? The interior has been destroyed by a plant. Blah, 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 blah. There's a computer over here, and there's ink ribbon. I don't need it. And we unlock the door. And back out we go. Bam, bam. All right, well, it looks like we have no more business in the red zone, and not the football red zone. We are not inside the 20 yard line right now. Well, actually, you know what? Now that you think about it, outside of the fact that my battery's getting low, we kind of are in the red zone of this game. We're done with most of it. Let's go to the blue zone now, because that's kind of where we needed to go in the first place. I just like leaving things to the flip of a coin sometimes. More fun that way, in my mind. Oh my god, I still have an Enchirito left from Taco Bell to eat? Die! Alright. I cannot go in... Yeah, I can't go in there yet. I'm sure I probably can't go in there yet either. Nope, no power. Usually you would need power to open a door like that. Ooh. This door looks like fun. If that's supposed to be like snow on, or just like ice on the door, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> Ooh. It looks cold in here. Very cold indeed. And there's first aid spray in here. I'll take it. Don't you remember what happened last year? Here's the fuse. Why would there be a fuse case in cold storage? Whatever. Super low temperature experiments. I could set the superconductor fuse here if I had a case. Well, guess what? We've got a case. Well, look at this cool little machine. I have no idea why they would be making fuses in a place like this. But whatever. It's Umbrella. They do whatever the fuck they want. They don't have to answer to anybody. <laughs> if that machine is dedicated to making just fuses, that's ridiculous. Alright, so we have ourselves a main fuse. But when we go put the main fuse back where it belongs, what's it going to do besides supply power? Is it going to cause something more sinister to happen? I don't know. But if you stick around for the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 2, you're going to find out. So, your host, AMF1534, saying goodbye for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.